when Eddie Bauer developed his first mountaineering parka in 1953. He did it in collaboration with a team of world-class climbers attempting the first ascent of K2. In 1963, Eddie Bauer was the outfitter when Jim Whitaker became the first American to summit Mount Everest. In the years that followed, the Bauer name became synonymous with mountaineering triumphs throughout the Himalaya. Eddie Bauer became known as the premier American expedition outfitter. At 20,000 feet, the choices you make aren't casual. Life's depend on them. The gear you wear, the people you rope up with. No one knows this better than mountain guides. By 93, 94, I'd climbed Everest, K2, and Kanjanjunga, and I'd climbed Everest twice. And I was on my way to climbing all 14 of these 8,000 meter peaks without supplemental oxygen. And this is where we got to dig deep and see what we were made of. The planning, the training, camaraderie, the whole journey, that was a huge part of doing the endeavor as well. We've called it, you gotta pay the currency of toil. And it's true, it's not gonna be free. But it's worth it. When you get up top, you'll go, that was worth what I put into it. I've been climbing my whole life, uh, mountain guiding since I was 16. And I've made a profession out of it and love it. The winds are picking up. We're at about 21,300 feet here. Reassessing. May not be a summit day today. Climbing mountains is a dangerous activity, it is. There are objective dangers that you absolutely cannot control in the external environment. I started out as a mountain guide in the Pacific Northwest on Mount Rainier. I kind of took that internationally to some of the peaks in South America and then transitioned into Himalayan mountain guiding. And it is different, Himalayan mountain guiding, but those skills translated really well for me. The weather's looking good, so Pretty much we're seeing a green light and we'll keep our eyes open in case something changes. Last year, I did my 25th Denali expedition, my 25th Vincent summit, it's the highest point in Antarctica. I uh, made it a nice round, even 10 summits on Everest and passed 250 summits on Mount Rainier. I have so much respect for Dave Hahn, it's, it's unbelievable. What inspires me about guiding is helping people reach their personal goals. Most folks, you know, really rise up and then accomplish things that they didn't think they could. I've been guiding for 13 years now, and I can honestly say I've put blood, sweat, and tears into this profession. It's really moving along and doing good things. Do you even want to see there at all? Yeah. So we teamed up with some of the best mountain guides in the world to build the best gear in the world. What we're doing today is unique in that there's a lot of great gear out there, but in my opinion and Veaster's and Han's opinion, things are being overbuilt. We started in Bellevue with a blank sheet of paper. We brought in our own clothing. We said, how can we make this better? Isn't that what we're going for? Is like a technical clean look, not something that's like trendy and hip, because technical and clean is always trendier. So we're just, not where we need to be. Just okay, let so just this come fix in that. and get rid of that line. Second prototypes came out, and we started to actually see some of the input that we had given applied on the pieces. Right, I like the fit, and it's just this little bit right there. We just created the first ascent line to be streamlined for pure function. Right side, this was created by guides for what we do. It's a never-ending process. And the beauty of working with Eddie Bauer and this first ascent line and this team is that we're always going to be thinking about, OK, this is good. This is great. Let's make it even better. And that's going to go on and on and on. Simple, functional, light, durable, equal to any altitude on any continent. We know. Our guides live in it. From Antarctica to Denali, Kilimanjaro to Aconcagua, Rainier to Everest. First ascent. Everything you need, nothing you don't.